as we are in a cost of living crisis here in the UK, one man is looking to, rack, to tackle poverty by fundraising a nearly £1 million milestone in Ipswich. We're going to read into his story from the BBC, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is really going to be here with another good news, good vibe story. And this one is from the BBC, in which an it, it switch fundraiser tackling poverty needs a £1 million milestone. So I know a lot of people, uh, I know obviously having charities and that, um, it should be more down to the government to dealing with poverty. But when you hear some of the stories and the hard work that volunteers and people do up and down, up and down the country to help others out in desperate need, it really is a heartwarming thing. And uh, I'm really, uh, really interested to read this this story about the, how they are tackling poverty uh, within Ipswich and beyond, guys. So let's have a read into this story. So a volunteer fundraiser is on track to reach £1 million to support one of Ipswich's poorest areas. Jim Manning is a retired council manager who uses his skills to apply for grant funding. The money helps the Witten Youth Partnership in St Mary's Church, which runs a warm space and a top-up shop. Mr Manning said it is very much a team effort, but yes, it's incredibly warming to see the fruits of what you have managed to achieve. The data from the Suffolk Observatory shows nearly 40% of people living in Witten and areas in areas are in the 20% most deprived in England. But it's about making a difference. And it feels like that these pots are getting smaller. There are more people in need. There are organisations looking to looking the other ways to fund the work they do, Mr Mann said. He won the fundraiser category at the BBC Radio Suffolk Make a Difference Awards in 2022. When I won the award, I worked out I'd raised over £750,000. Now that's well over £900,000. Wow, that's fantastic. It is a slow, long, slow process, but I'm blessed I'm able to help by knowing how to fill the forms in, and I think that's half the problem. In this picture, the weekly top-up shop uses food passed on by supermarkets, but it's mainly bought, uh, mainly bought using donations there, which is uh, very generous, of course. Sally Goom is a volunteer at the Top Up Shop, uh, run by eleven of one of eleven run by churches across Ipswich, where people pay two pounds for a bag which they can be filled with food laid out on the table. She said, "There is no criteria. There is no questions asked. Anybody can come." We have seen a lot of new faces. We're averaging about fifty every week now. Last year it was probably thirty-five. The week before Christmas we had something like eighty-five. The church also pays for specialist debt advisors to run sessions along. Uh, winter warm space and coffee morning. Reverend Mary Sokovic, the prince, uh, the prince in charge of at St Mary, said there is d direct practical help here. If you've got a family to feed before your next paycheck comes in, you can get bread, you can get cereal, you can get something to have for dinner. There is also a role in stopping people feeling that they're isolated. That's that's one that no one cares about them and they think they're on their own. I think more people and more we're finding lack of extended families is a real issue for people and it accept so many difficult things. And there's an option here on how to nominate somebody so to make a difference. We're all recognising and celebrating people who are going above and beyond to make a difference where they live. Every BBC local radio station will host an award ceremony in 2024. The awards are a chance to say thank you and show recognition and appreciation for people who love to make lives better for others. Nominations can be made by the BBC Make a Difference website where you can also see full terms and privacy notice there. And the nominations will close on Sunday, March the 10th. So there's a chance, yeah, but by the time you see this, it will already have closed, guys. But... Um, I will say that um, you know it's wonderful that that we are seeing people giving up their time, giving up their their hopes, their their, their lives to help out others. Um, I don't really want to talk too much about the the strain and the in the, the the poverty that's taking place in the country because it is very sad to talk about it. But I think yeah, just from a positive perspective, guys, because this because we do try to try and spin it from a positive point of view. The fact that there are people out there, and not just. John here and the volunteers here at Ipswich, but many places across England and even in Scotland, I'm sure in Wales, who are giving up their free time to help and to raise money and donations for the sake of other people who are struggling in poverty because it's a difficult time for people and they need all the support they get and I'm grateful for these people 
who are doing doing this amazing work and hats off to all of them who have raised this this amazing money and let us hope it makes a difference to people's lives it helps get them on their feet gets them out of their debts and gets them back on track in life because i think that's really really important so guys what do you make of this story what do you make of the work that they are doing nearly one million pounds in milestones so fantastic fantastic work that they're doing do you have uh, food banks or what lots of people who do great work in your areas let me know in the comments section down below guys it's always nice to hear the hard work that's been being done by those who are choosing to put their to give up their own free time to help the needs of others and i think we should be looking at that from a fantastic positive perspective despite yeah what negatives that come along with it unfortunately so let me know you and share your thoughts in the comments below if you found this video video interesting please hit the like button we greatly appreciate it. share across social media and subscribe because it really does help support the channel thanks so much for watching guys and i hope to catch you all very very soon